If Amsterdam is your stopover or if it's the origin of your cruise, this is everything you need to know about the port, where to stay and what to do and how to do it. This is one of my favorite European cities. We're two retirees hooked on travel. Follow us on our journeys around the world. It will take about two to three hours for you to sail from the mouth of the river through the locks and then to actually arrive in Amsterdam. When you're coming in, going in and out of the river, you'll be sailing by many small harbors, industrial areas, and some farms, and you'll find it very picturesque. This is Amsterdam Central to my right. You really can't ask for a better location as it's just a short walk from the Amsterdam Central Station, which is the transport hub of the city for trains, buses, trams, and the metro. Also, it's within walking distance of a lot of the major attractions. From the station to the cruise terminal, just go to the back exit and you'll see your ship. And then you can just walk along the side of the waterfront. You'll pass the river cruise boats and the cruise terminal is located right next to the Moven Pick Hotel. Reaching your cruise ship terminal from the airport or your accommodation will be fast and convenient. This is Amsterdam Central. You can go to any part of the city and be back here in no time. It's absolutely exactly right on time. Can you beat that? Mm. Talk about reliable, predictable, convenient, nice, clean. Public transport is amazing. We bought a card for three days, and it covers it covers the train, the bus, the trams, and the metro. And so you can just travel anywhere you want to and get all over the city. So right now we're heading from one one tourist place to another, <laughs> and then we're going to go have lunch and do some more exploring. But you can't beat it. They're extremely organized. They come like every 20 minutes or so, depending on the train. And you get to really see a lot of the countryside. It's a wonderful way to get around uh, the Netherlands. You can design your own tour. You can see as much as you want, or you can take your time, which really is nice because you're not pushed with the tour. You can spend time here and do this or that. You can see what you want to see for as long as you want to see. Uh, Slaughter Deck is a really nice station. It's just one stop to city center. It is at a great location. If you come to Amsterdam, whether on a cruise or just a visit or even a layover, the best thing that we found is to stay outside of the city area. So what we do is we stay outside of the city and we're every time we come we can go to this area called Slaughter Deck. It's a two stops before you get to the city. And this is great. This city is unbelievable in terms of how to get around. It covers the entire city. We haven't had to wait more than four or five minutes for any of the tra public transport. 
It's extremely convenient and we like to stay in a comfortable accommodations. Your stay, if you're in a comfortable accommodations, it makes all the difference in the world. And we found that we're way more comfortable in, say, an apartment, a studio apartment, a two room, whatever, opposed to a very small hotel room. So you can get to the point where you feel comfortable, you make it feel homey, you can bring in your own food. One of us gets up earlier in the morning, the other one can come out to the living room. And usually the apartments outside of the city are less than what you're going to pay for a very small hotel room in the city. And you have more of a neighborhood feel here too. You're outside of the city, you're among people that live here, commute, smaller, more quaint restaurants. The other thing that we do is we, we like this uh, particular apartment. You have to book it a little bit ahead. Citadines. Uh, we like to stay in Citadines. It's a nice apart hotel. And in this area right here too, it's all developing. There's about three different hotels and three different places that you can stay that actually have apartments. Um, it's extremely nice. They're very nice downstairs, uh, the lobby. Also, you have a laundry room down a laundry room downstairs, so you can do your own laundry. Very comfortable uh, bed. Sleeping quarters is quiet. There's not a lot of traffic outside. Slaughter Deck area is an excellent central point, no matter where you're going to go. You can go to the center of the city. You can go to, to other parts of, of the outskirts of Amsterdam. One day, we were able to, to easily get up and go and see the windmills. We went to Zandam. We spent the afternoon and lunch in Harlem, and uh, all in one one after in one day. It was really simple. Came back, had a nice dinner right out right out here in the area. We have some nice hotels, and this kind of area is up and coming. It's new. It's being developed, and it's a, it's a nice area. If you if you're looking for a place to stay, I I strongly recommend this um, uh, apartment hotel, uh, Citadins, and we'll put a we'll put a link um, down below. You know what I recommend? Just walk around Amsterdam, get lost, walk the streets, find side streets like this. Well, we got lost today, not really, but we were walking around and explored and we ended up in this amazing area and it's, it's gorgeous. There's so many areas of Amsterdam that you just have to sit there and continue walking around, looking, exploring, don't stay in one area. Like it's so different. There's, there's so many canals and different districts and areas and each area is different. We've been to uh, Chinatown, we've been to the red, red light district, which you can't uh, videotape the red light district. That's why no one sees it. It's definitely worth going to and just walk around. It's, it's so fun. What do you think about these little cars? They're not allowed on the street and they use the bike lane. This elderly gentleman, well, he just couldn't figure out how to get across the street. So he ended up taking the sidewalk. Now, what I like about Amsterdam is there's law and order. You're a in public, a hundred a hundred uh, euro fine. The Van Gogh Museum is a great experience. 
you learn about Van Gogh and you get to see his original paintings. The canal tour is really worth it. Most of them depart from the railroad station, but those are really cattle buses, and they're about 10 euros. For a more relaxing, personal, small group experience, of course with wine and cheese, just walk a little bit further and you'll see many to choose from. the world-famous Zansei Shans area. It's spectacular. Most people think you have to take an organized tour to get here, but you really don't. It's just five stops on the train from Amsterdam Central. Then you just walk across the bridge. You'll actually walk right by a huge cocoa plant and the whole town smells like cocoa. This beautiful historic town is where you can experience the original windmills and you get to see how they used to use them for machinery. They're putting the sails up on this windmill right here. After your visit to the windmills, you must stop at Zahn Dam. It's a really cute place with unique artistic architecture. We did some shopping and had lunch, and just watched people while sitting next to the canal. It's fun to find unique places. Look at that, the homes look like their individual houses all just cobbled together. For an early morning adventure from 7 to 10 a.m., it's an incredible experience to go to the flower auction. To get there, you just go to Amsterdam South Station, then you take bus 358 to Alzmere, and the auction building is the last stop. It's incredible. The flowers are coming from all over the world. They're auctioned and then redistributed to multi-destinations in one day. The flowers arrive at 10 p.m., and they keep them in cold storage until the morning auction begins. By late afternoon, all the flowers are auctioned and then the new arrivals begin their journey. This building is huge. It's almost a million square meters, and it's the fourth largest building in the world. It looks like a beehive, with people moving all over the place using these electric carts, trains that are automated wheels, and they actually move 20 million flowers that are traded every single day. This is a very cute little fishing bill, Bowling Dam. To get there, just take bus 110 or 118 from the back of the Amsterdam Central Station. At the bus stop, make your way up to the waterfront and have lunch, just shop, venture around, watch people. And then you can also take a boat from here to Marken, which is really another cute fishing village. Be sure while you're here to venture off to the side streets and then you can feel the local vibe. Enjoy exploring this wonderful city and thank you for watching.